Hello, in this video, we're going to demonstrate how you can use the Infoblox data exfiltration portal to demonstrate a DNS stalling attack. If you've attended a recent Infoblox webinar, you should have received this document that I'm showing here on the screen. This document shows you step by step how to log into the portal and how to simulate a DNS stalling attack. So the first thing you need to do is, of course, open the document and there will be a link that you need to click on that will connect you directly to the Infoblox data exfiltration portal. So let's go ahead and click on the link. It takes a few seconds to connect, and then you will be automatically logged in. There's no username and password. You can just simply log in directly to this portal. Once you log into the portal, you will see the front page, which basically gives you a high-level description of what this portal is all about. For our purposes, all I need you to do is to click on the data exfiltration tool. And there are multiple utilities over here that you could use, but for the one that we need to, uh, we need to use is called Hexify. So click on Hexify. And as soon after that, you need to select a file that you need to upload to the remote server. And what we're trying to do here is we're simply simulating what if you have a malware on your network and that malware is trying to use DNS as a tunneling mechanism to exfiltrate data from within your corporate network to a remote site. That's basically a quick, easy way to simulate it. So the other thing is you should have a small file ready that you need to upload. We provided this picture of a tulip. And if you want to use it, that's great. If not, just use a small file or small picture in your demo. And uh, in our example, we can use the same image that we used in the webinar, but let's go ahead and rename it. So just call it, you know, let's say test one, for example. And this is the image I want to uh, basically exfiltrate to the remote server. And again, in real life, this will probably be like a file that has sensitive information, let's say credit card information, username, passwords, things like that. This is all what we're trying to do here to simulate uh, data exfiltration using the, the DNS protocol. So let's go ahead and click on select a file and select the image that we want to use. Click open and within a few seconds, click on transfer the file. And as you can see, now we're in the process of simulating or basically actually we're using the DNS telling mechanism to exfiltrate data to the remote server. Now, what's really powerful about this is we are doing this bypassing any security measures that your company might have. This is literally uh, bypassing next-gen firewall, any other security tools, because they simply don't look deep inside the packet to understand that there is an attack going on right now. So again, this is just to simulate how a malware might behave on your network if you have a malware to exfiltrate data using DNS and send it to a remote system. Now this process, depending on the size of the file, it could take anywhere from minutes to hours to days, but for now, since we're only uploading a 20 kilobyte file, which is really small, it should take like a couple of minutes. And while we're waiting for that, here you go, it's almost done. And then as soon as the file is uploaded, you will be able to connect to the remote server and view the picture. So give it a few more seconds. And here you go, it's almost done. And then now you will wait a few more seconds for the file to be assembled at the remote site. And you'll be able to click on uh, view file. And here you go, view the file. So if I click on it, you will be able to see the image. And again, this is simply to simulate the fact that I was able to exfiltrate all the data, send it to a remote site, assemble it, and show you that you can actually be able to view the data bypassing any next-gen firewall or any security measures that you might have in your company.